Here comes a new challenger! Everyone is here, as they say, and well, that's not really true in my opinion. There are still characters missing, and well, in this series I'm going to be talking about characters that I personally feel need to make it into Smash in some way, shape, or form. I'm not even asking for characters, I'm just surprised they're not in the game at all. And of course, in today's episode starting us off, well, you read the title, we're going to be talking about... So why Eggman of all characters are we going to be talking about? Well, for me, he's kind of the reason why I made this series in the first place. And that is because with the inclusion of Sethroth, not gonna lie to you guys, but I was very upset because of this inclusion. And why is that per se? Well, let me ask you guys a certain question. We have a lot of third party series in this game, and well, how many of them have their villains represented? Well. And a 3D model, of course. Well, let's look. With Metal Gear, the series, the main villains are the Patriots, and well, uh, without really going to spoilers, we can't really show them. So uh, it makes sense that they're not in the game in any way, shape, or form. Uh, plus, well, the Metal Gears are the big thing, and they're on the Shadow Moses stage, being Rex and Ray, the well, most popular ones. Well, Mega Man, Dr. Wily's an assist trophy. Right? With Pac-Man, the Ghost Art Assist Trophy, and they're part of his moveset. With Street Fighter, well, there are so many iconic villains that repping them all would be a necessity if you're gonna have one. Though I guess if they were to have one, it'd probably be Bison or Akuma. With Bayonetta, similar to Metal Gear, it's kind of hard to talk about, but with the Angels, I mean, it's already there. Well, what about Final Fantasy? Uh, well, Sephiroth's playable, so, I mean, that's that. Oh, oh, wait, what about Castlevania? Well, Dracula is a boss, and with the DLC characters, well, with Persona, I mean, it is a more recent title, so I guess they didn't really want to show the final boss, but they do reference it in the classic mode. With Dragon Quest, yeah, they didn't show any of the final bosses, but they did have the most iconic enemy of them all, being the slime, of course, so I guess uh, it makes up for it. Banjo Kazooie, Gruntilda, oh, she's a stage cameo. And with Fatal Fury, Geese Howard also makes an appearance as a stage cameo. And with Minecraft, there's no real big baddie, it's just the mobs that are really iconic. And well, they have every major mob of Minecraft, let's face it Enderman, Zombie, Spider, and Skeleton are all on the Minecraft stage, and Creeper appears in Steve's victory screen. So, they have that covered. So when we really look at the third parties featured, as playable characters of course, notice how one of them doesn't have their villain in any way, shape, or form as a, well, 3D model. Sure, Eggman is a PNG, but to me that's just not enough because, well, I'd argue that Eggman is the second most iconic video game villain of all time, and you mean to tell me that he can't be featured in Smash? It hurts. It hurts to really think about it, honestly, because, well, like I said, second most. Only second to, well, Bowser, in my opinion, and to not have him in any physical form boggles my mind. I'm not asking for him to be playable, but the fact that he's not even a stage cameo, an assist trophy, or boss, or anything like that. It boggles my mind. Let me put it this way. Even if we were to have a second Sonic rep, say Knuckles or Shadow as an Echo Fighter, I would still be upset at the fact that Eggman's just not in this game outside of a PNG. I mean, you mean to tell me that Silver makes a cameo but not Eggman? Now, sure, you could say that, well, it was because Sonic 06, you know, the time. But they still could have had Eggman going in his mech, flying around Green Hill, or they could have done the same for Windy Hill. And yet, he doesn't make an appearance. Why is that? It just bothers me, in all honesty. How is Eggman not in this game is the most confusing thing I just... I... It's so weird. And that's why I say everyone's not here, because everyone's not here until Eggman is here. And yeah, that's just my thoughts, honestly. Like I said, it just bothers me so much. And really, this wouldn't have bothered me too much if Sethroth wasn't, well, in the game. 
but the fact that he is, and yet Sonic, who's been around since Brawl, doesn't even have a second representative, it's kind of insane to me. I mean, Castlevania got two reps in one game, Street Fighter has two reps, and they're very unique fighters, you know, Ryu and Ken are very different, and so is Cloud and Sephiroth. But yet, here's Sonic. It's weird, and in my opinion, wrong. He definitely deserves another fighter, and the fact that he doesn't, it bothers me. It also doesn't help that Sonic's void of personality in Ultimate. It's like they don't even treat him right anymore. I don't know, guys. I highly doubt Eggman will be playable. I don't even think he has a chance, personally. It's just that it bothers me, like I said. He's not an assist, even. Like, come on. Like, he could have been something. <sighs> Whatever. Hopefully they do Eggman justice eventually. He deserves it. Come on. Sure, the quality of the Sonic games may jump up and down, but that shouldn't matter when it comes to one of the most iconic video game villains of all time. You can't have Sonic without the Eggman. Come on. Like I said, hopefully he makes an appearance some way, but I highly doubt it. With that all being said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, why not hit subscribe? We're so close to 300. We're so close. So please, if you enjoyed the video, then, well, stick around. It would really mean a lot to me. Let's try to reach 300 before the end of the year. We only have so much time left. Oh, and of course, I'm sure many of you are wondering, what about the Fighter Pass 2 predictions post Sephiroth? Well, that will be the next video that follows. Hopefully. With that all being said, take care of yourselves, guys, and, well, have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.